Hey guys, it's Kevin here from All Tasks IT and today I'm going to show you how to flash the firmware on a Yaelic A20 unit from Zoom to Teams. In this guide, I'm going to show you how to turn the A20 bar for Zoom into a Teams meeting room device. Unfortunately, with the A20, you can't do both at the same time. However, you can with some of the other models. Reach out to us if you want further info on these kits and we can run through that with you. Now this is a technical guide and I recommend it's carried out by an IT professional. Right, so this is a three step process. First, download the official firmware from Yaelink support site. Second, update the CTP18 touch panel. And third, update the A20 bars firmware. Step one is to download the firmware from Yaelink support site. And I've put a link to this in the description. You need to download the firmware both for the CTP18 and the A20 touch bar. I'm going to start by flashing the firmware for the CTP18 touch panel. To do this, you first need to get the IP address of the unit. I got this from my router, but you can also get this from the settings on the touch panel if you have already set it up. So to do that, go to settings, device settings, and then about. Now visit the IP address in your web browser and log in with the default username and password, which I have put on the screen there. Click on settings, upgrade, and then scroll down to the upgrade section. Click on browse, and here's where you point to the firmware that you've just downloaded. Select the CTP18 firmware and click upgrade. You will be warned not to power off the device. This is very important. And once you've read this, click OK. To check the progress of the upgrade, take a look at the touch panel. Once it's complete, the screen should look like this. Now you need to set your language. And once you've done that, click on settings in the top right hand corner. And now you need to find your IP address. So go to about and the IP address will be displayed. Now it may, may be the same as it was previously, but my network had changed the IP address of this unit. So I had to note this down. Now, once you have the IP address, it's really important that you do a factory reset. So log back into the control panel, click on settings, upgrade, and then reset to factory. Click OK, then go back to the touch panel to check on the progress. We can leave the touch panel there for now, and we're going to move on to upgrading the A20 bars firmware. So find the IP address of the A20 bar and log into it pretty much the exact same way as the touch panel. And once you're in, go to settings, upgrade, upload your firmware, then click upgrade. And just like with the touch panel, it's really important to do a factory reset. So log in, go to settings, upgrade, and reset to factory. Once this is done, we only have a couple more steps, and that is to log into the CTP18 touch panel uh, along with the A20 bar, and then pair the devices. So go ahead and type in the credentials of the resource account that you're using, and it will do some automatic device re uh, registration, and then eventually come up with an alert that says it couldn't find a device to pair with. And don't worry, this is because we also need to log into the A20 bar. To log into the A20 bar, you will need to be using a touch enabled screen, or in my case, I plugged a keyboard into the USB slot on the left hand side of the bar. You could do this with almost any USB plug and play keyboard, but I actually used uh, my Logitech wireless mouse and keyboard receiver, which worked great. Lastly, go back to the touch panel and press search again. This should start the process to create the relationship between the two devices. A code will appear on the screen. Enter that code into the CTP18. And there you go, success. Your Yaelink A20 Zoom meeting room kit has now been transformed into a Teams meeting room kit. Thank you for watching and check out our channel for more modern meeting room device videos.